Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to set up a video playlist in XSplit Broadcaster. Stay tuned. So we've covered many XSplit Broadcaster tutorials on this channel, so make sure you check out those after this video. We've covered whiteboard, image slideshow gallery, and more, but today we're going to focus on video playlists, which is very useful whether you're doing recordings or live streaming, and they can be useful in podcasts, interviews, presentations, and also if you're a video gamer, think about putting your compilation videos, some short trailers into a playlist and playing them as you open up your stream or as you close out your stream or even while taking a little bit of a commercial break so to speak so let's get into it okay so we're going to be using this scene to set up the video playlist today but uh, keep in mind that you can actually set the playlist on any scene you want for your particular stream or recording you can have the videos play full screen or just you can trim down to fit a certain size as well which we'll be doing here today so go to add source Click on Find More Sources, go to the plugin store here. Simply type in Video Playlist. Let it search. And here it is. So, this plugin allows you to play video files continuously by creating a playlist. You can customize the order and set videos to repeat as well. So, a pretty powerful little extension here. Click on this and install, and it'll be good to go. Close the store out here. Okay, so let's add this source into our scene. Click on Add Source, go to General Widgets area, and look for Video Playlist, and right there it is. So here's a little rectangle. Of course, that's where the videos will be. We have nothing in there yet. So we have some options here. The first thing you want to do, though, of course, is add your videos. Now, I do recommend if you have really long videos, say, you know, a few minutes or more, that you want to play in here, maybe uh, reformat them so they're a little bit lower resolution or lower in file size, especially if you're going to stream and live stream this because they will take up a lot of uh, computer resources and bandwidth to play these videos across streaming, which can bog down your computer and your stream. So just keep in mind, uh, I've done in the past is converted uh, 1080p videos to 720p or even a little bit less if I have to, to lower the bitrate or even change the format of the video itself from like an MP4 to an FLV or different format, making it a little bit easier and smoother to play on the stream. Uh, so just keep that in mind from the, from the very start. So we're going to click add and I have a bunch of videos here we can actually try. I have a bunch of Nintendo gaming ones for my gaming streams. I have some like video trailers we can find. So let's go to that particular folder here. Let's see, logos, here we go, video trailers. So I'm gonna pick a handful of these here. Some of these are only like 30 seconds to a minute long, which is perfect, I think, for this. We have a channel trailer here. I'll click on that one. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, that's a playback. So we have teaser, intros, 60 second, click on that one. That's two. Let's see. I think that's a replay, that's three. So we'll add those three for now. We'll go back into add. Find different folder. I actually have some music videos too for my gaming, some customized like kind of theme songs for gaming. So got some of these here and you can see here this is actually an FLV format uh, so it's a bit less file size than the mp4 so you can see here this is 126 megabytes mp4 is but the FLV is only about 60 so it's about half of that it's also a little bit lower of a resolution too but it still looks pretty good on the stream so I'll choose this one here and this one here all right, so let's do five videos in the playlist. You see we have them all input right here, all five videos right there in the playlist set to go. 
and of course the order is decided upon how you import them into the playlist so if you have to reorder them just add them in how you need them so one after the other at the top here we have a little bit of a timeline when we play the videos uh, each green dash is each video so you can see some of these are shorter and some are longer with the gaps here it's kind of a long gap between this one and this one here a shorter gap for the shorter video a longer gap for the longer video and so forth you can also adjust the volume for all of the videos in the playlist with a slider right here of course no bars of course is zero halfway is 50 percent and maximum of course is full bars you can also skip to the next video with this button here and it kind of cycles through on screen those videos as well now some of the videos here start dark so keep that in mind start with a black screen so you won't always see a, a thumbnail so to speak right away but we can go back by clicking on these two all right so those are pretty much the main options here, just setting up your videos and importing them into the playlist, again, in the order that you need them, that's the most important thing. So down here, uh, when finished, so when the playlist finishes, what will this extension do? Uh, you can click nothing as kind of default. Usually I have it um, do a few, a couple options here. I usually have it do hiding. So this means after everything plays through in the videos, uh, they will all hide off screen. Uh, so you can't see anything. You can't see any of the videos still there. I can also loop them. So after all the videos play, it will start back from the beginning again through the entire playlist one more time and keep going, looping through all the playlists over and over again. You can also have it rewind, uh, so it plays through and then rewinds at the beginning, but it won't play until you push play, of course. Okay, and also we have play on scene enter. So if you change scenes and then come back to the scene where your video playlist is, it will play the video playlist automatically by itself. If that's unchecked, it will not play until you choose to play with a hotkey or by clicking on the play button here in the settings. With this checked here, it will recall the playback position. So if you stop it mid playthrough, it will stop and remember that spot exactly. You can also click this option here to show the playback position in the videos themselves. So I'll try that out as well for the video today. We'll click OK. So it's playing through right now. Oh. But before it plays through, it's actually uh, lower the volume a little bit, just so it's not overpowering my voice here. All right, cool. All right, start from the beginning here. So we won't play through all the videos here, but you can see in the lower right, we have the timer now uh, showing how many seconds of the current video is played. It's kind of a cool feature. So this first video is 30 seconds. This is some gameplay in Paladin showing a replay of a really good play we had from one of our NCC wizards in our squad at the time. So that's kind of cool. And again, you can also resize the video playlist here if you want to by simply dragging one of the corners and making it bigger or smaller depending on what you need for your scenes and layouts. This next video here is about a minute and seven seconds long. So I kind of like having that little timer down there showing you the playback time. It's kind of good to see actually. Because again, some of these videos here are a little bit longer. I'm not quite sure how long they are. all are. I think some are three minutes actually. So I guess we'll see that here. So this is a little trailer video for my gaming channel as well. It's kind of neat. So I'm not going to play through everything here. Let's skip ahead to the next video here. The next trailer here is 33 seconds long, so that's kind of cool. And then we have, let's see here, this song here is two minutes, so this is a music video for my channel as well. All right, so I don't want to play everything for you here, but I just want to show you how it works and what it looks like. Again, I think the most important thing is just resizing this to the proper size for your streams. You can go full screen as well. As long as the, the formatting here is 16 by 9, you can go full screen by dragging it like that. I've done full screen video playlists before, but for a scene like this, if you want to have your webcam and view, having it kind of three quarters size like that and your webcam small is kind of a cool little picture. All right, so let's test this other part out. 
can also have it play on scene enter. So we're going to get rid of the show playback position in video so we don't see that timer anymore. Let's click on play on scene enter. Click that. Okay. Let's actually change scenes here. So this has got my main startup screen here. If we change scenes, as soon as we go into the next scene with the video playlist, it should play those videos in that playlist automatically to start out with. Let's try it out. And there we go. So as soon as we change scenes, it starts up. It's kind of a cool feature. But again, you can choose if you want this to happen or not. We'll stop this here. And that is pretty much video playlists, really easy to implement and use, and a very useful extension for Expo Broadcaster. A few more little things you may want to do for this is actually create a nice little border around your video playlist if you want to. So if you don't go full screen with it, you may want to do this. Go to Effects here and click on Shape. Click on Border. You can add a white border or any color you want here with the color palette. Kind of maybe more of a green for my layout here, greenish blue, be kind of good, like that. Then you can make it thicker if you want, or less, of course, might be better looking, maybe two or three be good. And there you go. So a bit of a border around the playlist too, makes it look a little bit better and professional on the scene. So it looks kind of cool. We'll change scenes one last time and have it play again. And yeah, it looks really good there. I think it actually looks pretty good with that color and that border. And that was really easy to implement too by going to Effects and Shape and clicking on the border and the color. You can also add shadows here if you want to, if you want, and opacity for the border. It's really up to you. And blurring too, so it's kind of cool. Filters kind of put up a filter over the video, so there's a kind of a cooler color, warmer, more orangish, brownish. Blooming adds a lot more brightness to it. Monochrome, which is grayscale. Old movie, sketch, magnify, and such, and blurring too. So, some other little options here. All of these options here are pretty much standard for the sources in XSplit. You can also use them for video playlists. And there you have it. Really easy to implement. Give it a try yourselves. Let me know how you make out. So there you have it. That's all you have to do to add in video playlists with an XSplit broadcaster. Give it a try yourselves for both recordings and live streams, and let me know how you make out in the comments below. Hit the like button for this video and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.